Hi, this is Jim from Cable Supply and... Hi, I'm John, Cable Supply. And at our last video, we put up our data relay rack. Remember, we attached it to a, uh, a cement platform that we created. Normally, you wouldn't do that, but we don't want to drill four holes in our warehouse floor. Uh, so we uh, made a little cement pedestal for it. We built it. We showed you how it fits together. It kind of bolts together easily. So uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to be attaching a, uh, this is kind of beat up one, but we, we promise we won't send you this one if you order a uh, ladder, uh, a cable ladder. But this is a cable ladder, we sell them on the website, and we're going to be attaching this, and we're going to be using a thing called an L bracket that's going to go up against the wall, and uh, the top of this, or this is going to be on the top of your data rack. And the reason you use these is, what we're going to do is we're going to run our cables down there nice and neatly, and we're also going to stabilize this up against the wall you know maybe you're not in an area where you have earthquakes but in california we have earthquakes it's always good to stabilize things so we're going to stabilize this up against the wall we're going to show you how this attaches so again we have our uh, cable ladder here and uh, one of the first things we need to do is to make sure we position it correctly on top here and to the wall so it's going to go from the top of the of the relay rack the data relay rack up into this drywall that we built. Uh, it's just temporary drywall, so you're gonna see some movement here, things like that. Hopefully your drywall is not moving around. Um, but the, thing, the, the idea is, is to get this level. You want this level, you want it to look neat, you want it to look uh, square on the top, make it you know, really look nice. And you can do a lot of things with these ladders. It doesn't necessarily just mean to go to the wall. You can uh, circle the whole room with these cable ladders and bring your cables into different areas. So it's a really nice cable management device and it also adds stability uh, to your data rack. You can see it kind of wiggles a little bit. When we're done, it won't be doing that. So the first thing you want to do, and there's many ways you can do this, and I'm sure you could uh, do it differently than us or, or a couple different ways. I mean, one way is we just lay it up there and, and just mark underneath, or we can use a level. You know, you can do it by eye or level. I, I recommend a level of some sort. And uh, of course, the other way is you can measure from the floor to the top of this L bracket here and then just make a line on your wall at the same size or the same distance from the floor. But we're going to use a level today uh, just to get the, uh, the, the bottom of the bracket and uh, then we'll know where to put the bracket on the wall. John, do you want to grab that side right there? Absolutely. And square it with the wall? Yep. Okay. Squash with the wall. There's my level, and it's level. And let's try this way, and it's level. Okay, so it's level this way, it's level this way. We have our marks on the wall. So now we're going to take it back down, and we're going to put up our L bracket. Now, we sell these mollies uh, that work with drywall uh, on our website, and we also sell, when you're going into uh, cinder block or block wall or cement, we also have uh, uh, these lag nuts or wooden walls. Uh, we have these lag bolts that also uh, we sell on the uh, website. And uh, of course, as you saw in the last video, also if you're going into solid cement, we have the, what I call mollies solid cement mollies. What do you call them, John? Concrete anchors. Concrete anchors. We saw all this on the website. But today, we're going to do the, uh, the mollies used on drywall. A lot of times you're going to use a drywall, you're going to run into a drywall, you're going to need mollies. And uh, of course, you don't have to buy them from us. You can get them right there at Home Depot or somewhere else. It's the same mollies. Uh, but it's nice to have them in a pack all ready to go, the amount that you need. So what John is doing here is he's making sure that both sides are level. Now what we're going to do is just put in one molly in that area there. Let's take my flat head, push it and turn it, cut a little hole in there like that. I'm going to take my L bracket. I use these big washers. I, I like the bigger washers. And uh, before we do that, put the, put the molly on there. Okay. 
And notice how I put it on there. So when I squeeze it, it's going to go through the hole if the hole's big enough. I may need to make the hole bigger. And then it's going to pop out on the other side. So let me show you. Okay, notice I'm putting pressure, pulling it away from the wall a little bit, and that's gonna, that molly in the back has gripped now. Now before we mount up here, uh, there's a couple things you can do. You can get this all ready to go, use your drill, you can use your drill and you can drill your holes through here or here and put your J-hooks. And we do sell the J-hooks, J-hooks would go right here and uh, through the hole that you drill. Or there's another way and there's a bracket. And the reason you use the bracket is you can get different angles off the bracket. You can mount it this way. If you're gonna run your, your uh, ladder this way, you can mount it to the top. Now, of course, this is gray. Uh, we just pulled one out of, you know, the warehouse here is just sitting around. Uh, but you can put it in here different ways. You wanna hold that in, in case it does slide off. So you can put it in here different ways, uh, depending on which way you wanna mount. And then you mount the bracket to the top, mount the bracket here to your, uh, to your data rack, and then this to the bracket. Now, you can do it that way. Most of the times, we just drill a hole through the data rack and mount the J-hooks in there. First, let's mount this side so we don't lose it. And of course, we already talked about the bracket that you can apply to the top. Most of the times, we don't use the bracket. We just drill the hole attach it with a second uh, group of uh, J-hooks and it will give stability uh, to this. It will not wiggle back and forth anymore. You'll have a pretty tight thing. And then what you want to do is when you bring your cable down from the ceiling, you want to run it right along here and you can, you can use Velcro tie wraps to hold it in place and then bring it down. It, it presents a very neat installation. This is very, you can add to it easily. Um, uh, I've seen some people do things where they do chin-ups on these. Don't do chin-ups on these. They're not made to hold 200 pounds, uh, things like that. Go use a chin-up bar. Um, it is sturdy enough in this size to be able to do something like that. But, you know, again, we're dealing with the drywall here. And it's not meant to hold your weight. This, of course, will hold thousands of pounds, I think. Uh, I've never seen one bend. But this is not made for uh, chin-ups. There's a lot of different uh, cable ladders. Uh, that you can get. In this case, this is a, uh, uh, a curved one. And uh, uh, some people like that rather than uh, the sharp edges when you hit a corner, if you're putting your ladder rack all around the edges, if you want to make it look really nice, you get one that's, that's in a corner. So you got a lot of different brackets, a lot of different hardware that you can use. They're all on our website. You can pick and choose what you need, what would make your, uh, your installation look great. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My name is John from Cable Supply. Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow our channel on YouTube. And I'm Jim from Cable Supply. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. And today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.